Hello, and everyone, and welcome Ooh. back to session two of Fire Blight. I'm surprised y'all are actually coming back to this because. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we yeah. don't know if they came back away. actually. <laughs> Well, self doubt, man. Like, come on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm I'm very happy y'all actually uh, like this. Yeah, I'm I'm Love the it. only one who does the self doubting here. Don't take my spot. <laughs> he is literally okay. called, he's literally called punching bag for a reason. Fair That's enough. The other server. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, zero is not going. Not going to be here for the first few minutes. He's going to be coming in later. So, Apparently with he has that. Some difficulties with the dimensions of this place, so. Gotta hope out. Hey, it's not my fault I took the glyph. He was shot in the eye to smack it. In any case. <laughs> let's begin. Character, really? The continent has faced many terrors in the past, but none as heart wrenching as what has just been seen minutes ago. After meeting each other for the first time, the party has come face to face with a phantom magician of horrific power. But what's worse, they found several experiments that delved into the territory of necromancy. That was the least of their worries, however. When Laura destroyed a glass gem in what looked to be a simple laboratory, the room was filled with a magic that was about to call one f Ah, damn it. Anyway, that was about to call forth one of the Sunken's faithful. After a quick decision by Prodos, the party has been blasted to who knows where. But, by the grace of Arcata's goddess, they have been spared from the Sunken One's wrath. Out of every question the group may have, however, one rings true in everyone's mind. Where the hell are we? <laughs> We're in. And, and now, Agda. It's it. Dang it. <laughs> Agda. <laughs> You are the first to awaken. Ooh. Okay. And as you hear... Mm -hmm. As you hear a lot of... A forest just around you. Your eyes focus on what looks to be an orange tree. Huh. In fact, you almost look like to be resting on, like, a base of it. In fact, if this tree wasn't already here, it was grown specifically to save you. Oh. Definitely a comforting sight. And as you look around, you see a familiar set of horns just peeking up uh, from below. Uh, by the way, it's about like a seven foot tall? Seven feet? Maybe maybe a generous six foot five? The, the tree? Yeah. Or, okay. The, 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 the tree. And uh, Protoss, you are the next to awaken. Round <laughs> or Face plant in the dirt. Actually, no. You are you're pretty much leaned up right next to the tree. Okay. Question: How yeah. are we? Does this count as a long rest, or we're just not? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah it counts as a long rest. Okay, oh. so that means his. 
Uh, yeah, rest. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of you have uh, have uh, been fully rested. Got my spell slots back. That's nice. Yep. yep. Rage points are are back. Um, <laughs> and uh, Protos. So uh, yes. Would you like to Would you like to see what's exactly uh, right below your head? Uh, Protos wakes up, groggy, he's like, oh, my head, what, oh, where, oh, looks down. You see, uh, what? you see Paula, uh, and, uh, by the way, I'm sorry I mistook Laura for Paula for some reason. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wait, so who's on me? In the intro speech, yeah, so Paula. I just registered Paula. with my... You all right. <laughs> Paula, uh, you are right. pretty much in Protos's lap. <clears throat> uh, what happened? Uh, I... Wait. Uh, Protos looks around at... Uh, pretty much this is normal for him, but uh, Protos is a bit confused. I have yeah. no clue. What's there to remember? I hit the shiny thing and here. Essentially, as you look around, it's it looks like an average forest. Granted, there are a few rocks that are jutting out in some in uh, certain places, making the terrain uh, a bit mixed. But other than that. It looks like an average, like, forest. There are birds, ev there are birds in the sky, and, uh, and chirping. There are ants, uh, just doing their little, uh, jobs for the colony. Doing ant stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're doing oh. ant stuff. As, as well as you being right under, right in the shade of a, uh, a pretty impressive looking orange tree. <laughs> How tall is such an orange tree? Uh about seven feet or so? Se yeah, about seven feet. I think you did the math wrong again with the tree because uh Protus is about eight feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. But the <laughs> the tree itself isn't exactly like uh like a solid uh like bed. So Agatha actually sees the horns. Like I'm gonna say, like all she has to do is like turn her head a little bit. Boom! They're horns. <laughs> At least they're not stuck into any other wooden things. Um, <clears throat> but <she's laughs> to, um, uh, uh Miss Paul. Uh, Paul, are you alright? Uh. Anything broken? Yes, yes, I think I'm fine. She, like, sits up and looks around. Mm-hmm. Ah, great, Agatha's we're gonna... back in another forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, one other thing. Uh, this is very much noticeable, but mm -hmm. one quick, one, one quick whiff in the air, and, uh, you can smell a hint of seawater. Mm. Wherever you are. <laughs> Wherever you are, you're pretty close to the shore. Hmm. Oh. Coastal. So, yeah, I guess it's going to look around and see, like, is is the whole party here? And, you know, check how Actually, everybody's doing. Actually, mm -hmm. only one more person is with you. Uh oh. Newbie. Ah, oh, great. Huh? Yay. <laughs> it is your turn <laughs> to wake up. <laughs> Five more minutes. <laughs> Bro, those pokes a little Wake cobalt. up, you child. No time, little guy. <laughs> you're okay. a little you're you're a little bit of a ways away from the tree, but other than that, you're uh you're pretty much in the same spot. Okay. Yeah, what is this place? I don't, I don't what did we do last night? <laughs> I don't know. I think I remember drinking some wine. Uh, I think same here, but one thing I remember was 
We were trapped. Yeah, don't look at me. I didn't touch the wine. You feeling all right, newbie? Boring. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey can I get an orange, please? I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Probably this yeah. up the tree. Sure thing. Is there regular oranges up there? Y yeah, right. Yeah, regular oranges. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, new I punched the tree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, sure. You uh, do I need a roll strength check? Does it? Uh, yeah, strength check. A strength check. Since right. your your goal isn't exactly to damage the tree, right? Nope. Nine. Thankfully, that I'll, I'll yeah I'll I'll take that I'll take that. Uh, you actually are so good. Of uh, okay, actually, never mind. I'll just take the twenty-five, if that's okay. I don't uh, know. Wait, never mind. You punch the tree, oranges fall down. <laughs> yeah, oranges yeah, fall. Yeah. Newbie, a roll of five, a roll of four plus my modifier is a five, so that's nine. Okay. Uh, there's one more roll right here. Uh, it has twenty-five. Why did oh that that uh, ignore that one the first one that was as a test oh. roll to make sure it was working. So oh, okay, that was okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Never mind then. Never mind then. Uh, in, in the moment. In yeah, the moment, I'm sorry. I yeah, um, you hit I the tree. You hit the tree just enough that just the oranges fall down. The worst <laughs> you do is like, just like, I'm gonna say about ten leaves. Excuse me. Ten leaves just uh fall off the oh. tree. <laughs> but other than that, you have oranges. I was yeah, about I, to I, give you yeah, the orange, so she's kind of startled. Just, <laughs> you know, say the backhand punch, you know, like you know, like you know, like you know. Actually, like, actually, like, Agatha, roll mm -hmm. me a a uh, a <laughs> deck save. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask, let's see, uh, okay, that's, all right. Oh, I have forgotten how to use the thing already. <laughs> uh, roll. Hmm. Uh, roll. Okay, yeah, okay. roll. Nah. I, uh, yeah, you got it. Jesus. You got it. And, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you good. You good. Ha. <laughs> okay. You're shaking up a little bit, but other than that, at least you're awake now. <laughs> Able to keep from falling out of the tree. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she's gonna get down now. <laughs> in fact, yeah, that works. Newbie, I guess you. In fact, newbie, you actually are a. You were close enough to uh, a clearing, and you can just see that there are a few goals that ah, 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 they just fly over you. Oh, uh, has Noopy ever seen seagulls before? I'm going to say yes, because you have had missions uh, pretty much all around Al Sayin. So, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so... Okay, so no need to worry. <laughs> so, other than that, you notice a few uh, people missing. Thank goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh where's that, uh, uh, that fancy elf man and, the, and those two others? And the dwarf? Oh, no, I think we need to... Uh... Write them down to, like, send some letter to their families. That's what we always do when people die. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Slow it down. Nobody's dead, right? Not the, As far as we know. We don't know if they're alive. That's a we good gotta, point. We, we gotta start searching. Duh. Right. It's uh, at this point. Oh, <laughs> do it. Oh. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, roll a 
Roll a quick perception check for me. Uh, Protos. Perception check, right. A flat roll? Yeah, flat. All right. A best roll for a barbarian, I say. 12 plus 5 is 17. Dang. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn. You, you look around, and aside from uh, your current landing uh, area, you look around and just see an average forest until you look a bit further and there's there's a bit of an outcropping uh well there's a a few trees there out of the way enough to the point where you can see a town in the distance uh, Protoss gets up you know squints his eyes and and you know he looks far away like uh Guys, I think I see a town, or I think what I've been told, it's called a harbor town. A harbor? Well, that seems like a good start. But All right, I suppose we can go over there. It's at this point where you hear a loud scream. Is it Uh-oh. a scream we recognize? Call a jump. <laughs> Oh, uh, Protoss grabs her, you know, in there, like, you know, Scooby-Doo in Shaggy style. <laughs> however, um, however, as far as you know, it it's just an average, like, like a scream that you'd hear a bird make. Uh, <laughs> however, it could also be a sound of excitement or fear. You don't quite know. Mm. Unless it's a well, pro or raven. Could we go it check matter? it out? Uh, pro does not. Uh, hmm. Yep. Uh, can I uh, can I look where the scream came from? Uh, the sound came about uh north by north. Uh, no, not north. Uh, east by southeast. And which way is the right, town? Uh, it's pretty much a little ways uh, to the to the right uh, that you uh, hear that sound. So kind of in the same general direction? Kind of in the same general direction, yes. Alright, might as well. Let's head uh, off in that probably, direction. Probably uh, let's miss Paul down on her feet. Thank you. Let's go. I gotta take an orange and for the road. Uh, yes. Okay. You do so. I pocket, I pocket a few oranges and follow after. Oh yeah. And um, <laughs> real quick, newbie. Yeah. This specific tree. Uh, can I say that you bit into one of the oranges? Okay. This is this is the best orange you've ever tasted. Nice. Including the, the uh, what's it called? The peel of the orange? Or I, I never know what the, the terminology is. Yeah, I think it's the but peel. Yeah. And, I'm just, and I'm just like gulping it down too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, good. I get more citrus and fiber in one side. All right, it's Canada. Okay. All right, it's Canada now. Newbie loves oranges. Make that happen, artists. <laughs> oh, oh, I will. Oh, I think I will. Make that happen. <laughs> Make a okay. newbie love oranges. So, uh, they are delicious. Can I say that you, you guys are pretty much moving to the town at this point, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. We're off to see the wizard, the, the wonderful, wonderful wizard. wizard. Now, this Wait, is just on. one perspective. Wait, hold on. Do we still have our weapons with us? Yes. Yes, you do. That's a good question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's go back in time a little bit, uh, specifically to around the time where everyone woke up. In another section of the forest, uh, probably about one, maybe five miles away, there's a bit of, there's a large rock formation that has a bit of a pool in it. It's four feet deep. 
and resting hmm. resting on the rock itself, which is actually pretty pretty soft considering how much moss is on it. Uh, Scaro, you wake up. <coughs> Is everyone y'all still alive? As you look around, you you see a you see an orange tree, but apparently something about it seems a little off. Not like totally strange, it just looks a bit dead. Huh. Well that's mm. not good. Scar is just gonna steadily try to like climb itself back up. And he's basically going to start looking around. And he's okay. And basically shout out to his companion. Ms. Agatha! Ms. Polia! Mr. Rosen! Yubi! And... And... Hi. Rothen! Uh... Numchuck man! Yo. <laughs> Rothen, you wake up. <laughs> it's just called... The... <laughs> the hell was and, that? And, uh... You happen to feel a little someone beneath you. <laughs> oh, hey, hey it's at this point where you wake up underwater. Oh, my God. oh dear! No! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> I right, get oh, off crap. of him. I get off of him. <laughs> okay. And uh, something you also notice, Rothen, as you immediately wake up, you're surrounded by a family of otters. Oh, wow. <laughs> they get the otters. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> they the persona is literally an otter. Jealous much? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they seem okay. I'm and, uh, already. <laughs> thankfully, you don't need to. You don't need to roll for anything. They just seem kind of curious and taken with you. Hmm. Uh. Hi. One of the one of the otters just squeaks and and nuzzles your chin. Aww. Uh, hello. <laughs> ah, Mr. Rosen. Glad to see you okay. And uh, oh, you're also a rat. That's good. At this point, at this point, Olin, you're up and uh, you're actually breathing. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I appreciate you breaking my fall, Olin. It was very noble of you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Rodfin. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just like spit out the fish or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to say yes, and the uh, and the otters pretty much leap to it. It's a it's a good sized fish for an otter. Uh, but yeah, it's. Considering there's four of them, it's pretty easy to to catch. Well, I don't think we have any clue, but does anyone know where the dang hell are we? Oh yeah, uh, roll a perception check for me, all three of you. Okie dokie, then. Okie dokie, Loki. Perception plus three. Let's do this. No, it could've been worse for you guys. If, you know, Prose Man is world a one, he could be just falling out of a tree and just crash land on all y'all. Uh, oh, that's good. Dirty 20. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Okay. That's oh. two 20s. <laughs> 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 Damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> 17 dice. 17 dice already. All scroll is justified. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be okay. fucking kidding me. <laughs> Olin still okay, has, like, some water in his eyes. Yeah, yeah, Olin, you still have a bit of water in your eyes, and, uh, thankfully, it's fresh water, so you're okay. No, he's not. Uh, fresh water is not fresh. Fre yeah, I have, to I have to concur here. Fresh water is not that fresh, especially when it's in your eyes. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Could, but yeah. Could could burn on top of the inf infection. <laughs> True. It might be look a little mossy too. It was it's a forest pond. Thankfully, yeah. Thankfully, the uh, the moss doesn't really touch the water at all. 
But anyway, for the rest of you, you see a familiar-looking axe. Isn't that the dwarf's axe? Uh, I think so. I just basically woke up to it and have a bit of an examination on it. What? Where? Yeah. Where? Where? Uh, <laughs> I suggest you go rest yourself, buddy. You seem to basically been through a lot. <sighs> Fine. Actually, uh, uh, Owen, one of the otters that was curious with Ruffin, uh, comes over to you and just consoles you. Aw. <laughs> Scar is going to try to see if he can pick up this axe just finally. Okay, uh, roll a bit of a strength check for me. It's, and for an axe this size, it's not exactly a big strength check, but it is wielded by a very strong dwarf. Yes. So. A two. Oh. <laughs> oh. You, like Thor's hammer, it is very hard to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> mm, someone's not worthy. <laughs> well, <laughs> or needs to work out more. <laughs> someone's not four. Well, anyone else want to have a try? Uh, sure, I guess. You look like you can be able to lift this thing quite easily. I, I'll try and pick it up. Okay, roll strength check. Does this mean I can finally see now? Yes, yes, you can. You were once blind, but now you can see. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> nope. Okay. It's a I little better. Me. You you managed to get it jiggling. <laughs> All right. Uh, My God. If, uh, what is this thing made out of? Oh yeah, and Owen, you happen to see that happening. Uh, in fact, you kind of see him uh, shaking what his mama gave him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to look back to Olin. Uh, hey, can you help us out here? We might need a little assistance. You want me to lift up that axe? Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's see what these baby mouses can do. Oh, yeah, and at this point, the otter is pretty much on your shoulder. <laughs> just jealousy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just in the corner, just absolutely jealous. <laughs> she she has like this weird third sense. They're walking <laughs> to the town. She's like, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Something's <laughs> <is> happening. <laughs> they spot, they spot the boys. Are tingling. Like, oh like, my god! Spot, it's like they I feel just the boys in the forest. <laughs> I feel just in the forest. Like <laughs> All right. Your other senses are tingling. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see what these muscles can do. See if I can lift this up. Watch this, fellas. Alright, so I'm gonna roll the strength. Yep. Alright. You actually, uh... You actually, am a you actually are able to lift it, but there you actually noticed something that the others didn't. Hmm? It was caught on a root. <laughs> So it was... Well, that's just cheating. Well, the very same... Wait, is it like the very same root that's connected to this dead tree? <laughs> it, yeah, at that, at that exact moment, the tree just falls down. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I basically helped try to <laughs> from the tree's distance. Yeah. Aside from that, then... Uh... You're ac you're actually able to carry this axe pretty pretty well now. It's it's loose from its lodging. Yeah, it's 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 pretty. It's a standard axe. Made from dwarven steel. <laughs> yep. Do you all have any and uh, do you all have any idea where Mister Warwick went? Uh, no. No, I haven't seen him around. Not only that, but everyone else we may have met has also been disappeared as well. Well, besides the fact that I was drowning in the water. Thanks, yeah. Ruffin. You broke my fall. It was very nice of you. Now, now, no time for pretty talk, I suppose. 
The best option now. I mean it. The best option right now is to basically search for the rest of our crew. This is a pretty neat looking axe, though. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, quick note, Rothen. You. Yeah. Uh, these little otters just look at you like, well, we found you. We we want to make sure you're okay. So they <laughs> just they just stay with you. Okay. So. Uh, and now you have. And now you have four new friends. So, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, you know, it turns out if they're nymphs in disguise, I'll laugh my head off. So, um, does this, does this, does this auto still stay on my shoulder? Uh, the, the what? The what? The auto that was on my shoulder. Does it still stay on my shoulder? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I get the other three. Cool. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're mostly Rothans, but uh, they see, they kind of see you as a someone special that he's looking after. So they pretty much tag along with you out of pity. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, right, boys. Can Scar try to climb one of the nearby trees using his acrobatics and see if he can use it? Roll, roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll acrobatics. All right. Actually, before that, roll perception for me real quick. All right. Perfect. All of us? Like the three yeah, of us? Or... Yeah, all of you. Yeah, all of you. What kind of otters they are? Uh, the good kind. Like river otters or like... like yeah, river otters. Different... Fuck. Okay. Hey, oh hey, hello! Go, hey, hello, Ruffin, you're you're just too distracted by your new friends. <laughs> they're distracting me. <laughs> they're they're just giving you all the warm snuggles. <laughs> <laughs> now, Olin and Scaro. Yes, you see all around you a very dense forest. It. You can barely see the sun if if only by the fact that uh, some leaves are brighter than the others. However, it's not totally dark to the point where you can't see anything. There's some light peeking through, but other than that, it's pretty reasonably uh, visible. As for that acrobatics check, Scaro. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right. hmm. Acrobatics, that would be... Three. All right, let's do this. Okay. Eleven. Thankfully, the trees are not very hard to climb up. You're just... You're struggling a little bit. But other than that, you're climbing up pretty good. They're pine trees, aren't they? Uh, no, there's a bit of oak and uh, some oak, some willow. But uh, other than that, it it's it's a it's a good a uh, good amount. It's a good amount of branches. But even but even so, anyway, uh. You're able to see a lot more now. You're you're just looking around, and thankfully, I'm I'm gonna keep your uh, original role for this. Uh, you happen to see a port town that doesn't look very guarded. It's almost like the forest itself is the guard. Hey, fellas. Yeah? Yeah? I see a town up ahead. Southern South sees some sort of harbor town, I believe. Oh. I thought I smelled seawater. And it's yeah. at this point where you guys hear a very loud scream. Huh? The hell was that? Did you guys hear it's, that? It's coming from the same direction as the town, actually. So... Y'all think it's one of our friends? Could be. 
Well, I guess we can Have we actually heard any of them scream like that? Well, I guess we can just stick around and find out. Yeah, maybe not. Yes. Right. Y'all ready to go? <coughs> Unless, of course, you ain't too wet, of course. I'm not <sighs> that wet. He t Ola just looks at himself. <sighs> Alright. Scar's just gonna scale down the tree and is going to read Nefu back with the other two, and I guess we'll just go and head straight to town. Yep. Followed and. By more adorable orders. Yeah. <laughs> and. Are they just it's riding on point... my shoulders? Like... Are they just riding yeah. on my shoulders like Pikachu? <laughs> In fact, the younger one is kind of, uh, the, the youngest one, he's just riding in your, uh, riding in your hood. Alright, under my helmet. That's on the wrong okay. channel, oh well. <clears throat> in any case, uh, what you guys, what both of you, what both groups see uh, eventually coming, just trekking through a very, a ver very beautiful looking forest, actually. What you guys eventually see is someone screaming their head off, and, There's two cheesecakes and Owen, unfortunately for you, she that's a man. Well, unless we, do we want to split Yeah. <laughs> Why is that unfortunate for Owen? <laughs> Mainly because uh, the guy is screaming his head off at the fact that there are a uh, few giant wasps chasing him. Oh, oh, oh Jesus I don't blame him. Like how giant of a wasp? Like, um, like, like Japanese giant hornet size, or like bigger than a person size? I'm thinking that one episode of Doctor Who where there's a giant wasp attacking oh, Agatha Christie. We got you. Oh, no. Yeah. Eight hornets. <laughs> Eventually, so though. This. Yeah. So the party re reunites. Eventually, however, what you guys invent, what you guys see is something slamming this wa slamming this wasp in the face. Ooh. It just it just flies back, hits the ground. Its wing, its wing is a bit damaged, actually, and it flies away, like in a panic. What just happened? Wait, something hit it is big, it? like, like yeah, like, like exactly. A weapon or uh, you don't. It's too <laughs> far away to tell. Oh, oh shit! Whatever hit him is, uh, whatever hit it is. Uh, very much shrouded by, uh, uh, very much shrouded by trees and uh, and the like. Mm. Mm. Eventually, you guys come to two different different parts of a clearing, of which you see some bandits. That's a bandit mm. camp you're looking at. Oh, oh boy. Oh, with his eyes lighted, like, and grins. Oh, it's time to go to work! And, uh, you guys, uh, you guys are able to hear a lot of, uh, a bit of anger. What the hell were you doing? I'm sorry, boss! I'm, so I'm sorry! I, I, I didn't have any, I didn't have no idea! That, that's besides the point, you idiot. Why would you let them anywhere near the camp? In any case, we gotta make sure that we're all ready before Faykov gets his just rewards. And besides, they've been too cozy for too long. Wait, wait, wait. what was that name that you said? Faykov? Faykov. Yeah, Faykov. Yep. Wait, I think Fe uh, Faykov. And, uh... I guess that's and, the town. Uh, actually, yeah. Newbie and Scaro, you, and, uh, actually, a, actually anyone else, uh, roll a history check, roll a history check, or, uh, oh, some kind of, 
Uh, I... Um. So wait, quick question, GM. Are we all back together now? I think we're yeah. standing on different ends of a clearing. I don't think we've noticed yeah. each other yet. Yeah, yeah you're on. Angles. You're on different ends. Yeah, I just want a clarification. So both okay. groups so witnessed we, this scene, see... but we haven't regrouped. I got a question, um, DM. Um, Can we see each other or? Oh. Uh, yes, um, thankfully, those who yes. Need to roll... And thankfully, yes, you are able to see each other, but uh, you're only able to see like little little uh, identifiers that allow it to. Dang, newbie. That, that... <laughs> That's a nice roll. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're really only focused on uh, the the broader details. Like you see uh, the dark blue. That's uh, uh, that's uh, Scaro, the orange, that's Olin, uh, things like that. My otters. I mean, it's miss Protoss, and the but, tingling. Um... <laughs> I, could just, I could just imagine some type of okay. where Paula is like in the background and then Olin just has an auto on his shoulder and just... <laughs> mad. <laughs> Her like neck snaps around to look. But yeah, uh... Paula, Paul and Protos, you do not, you do not uh, remember that name at all. You've really only been uh, up at the uh, upper half of uh, Al Sain, so you really don't know the uh, lower or eastern bits. However, the rest of you, you take a, you take a second to realize that. You've been blasted to the other side of the continent. Oh, damn. Oh. Um. Uh -oh. Fakov. Fakov? Sounds like a market. <laughs> so, wait. Often. Does Snow yeah. basically see the other group from the other side of the bandit camp? Yeah. So, how and, uh, exactly are they? Uh, I'm going to say roughly two miles away. So, how many feet is that? Uh, Making him I do don't... math. <laughs> no, that's just mean. Because don't make him do I, math. Could I be able to cast the message spell, which is 120 feet, to basically one of them as like a silent message to the other side of our group? Okay, yeah, one <laughs> That way, so the bandits can't hear us, and we can be able to communicate to each other just finally. Mm. What's that happening? Okay. Um, can I draw a perception check to see if one of them is like the leader? Uh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Come on, Minotaur eyes. Show me what they. Not bad. That's sixteen plus five. My proficiency of modifier twenty-one. Okay, Protos. Uh, as you're looking around, you you see. This is not a professional uh, camp at all. It just looks uh, shoddily brought together. In fact, you are able to kind of see a good amount of the group. Uh, you see a Luxodon, actually, that doesn't really look to be the ringleader. However, you see a... Uh, you see a good amount of... Uh, People that are just like either human or uh, goblins, even. So, being at peace with these kinds of peoples, uh, like the goblins and kobolds, very much not a new thing over here. So, so yeah. Uh, okay. would I know what Alexadon is? I know what they're like elven people. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, the, uh. Wait, should you... I just roll a history die to see? Actually, no. Uh, I'm going to say you actually have seen a few Luxodon in your past, so you <coughs> pretty much you do know about them. Huh. So mm. elephant. As for your request, Garo, uh, I'm going to say that if... I'm going to say my rules for message is that if you recognize... Uh, the person that you're trying to send the message to, okay, then, so if I can see them then it's good. Yeah. 
Uh, quick question. Uh, was he was Alexadon the one who attacked the giant wasp? It's okay. very likely from how far uh, how far back the uh, wasp was pretty much flown. It big fella. If it didn't like, uh, if it wasn't in flight already, that Luxodon definitely sent it. Hmm. So oh, and, uh, Agatha's uh, kind of a small town girl. Do you think she knows what a Luxodon is, or? Uh, you've seen a few traveling. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, with since Nubi has uh. Spend some time with a mercenary group. Uh, uh, would Nubi recognize these bandits as like a very, like a very infamous or notable bandits? Like, like, do the, any of them have like, has, like, have any outstanding bounties on them, or are they like a, or like they like? <clears throat> if you if you didn't know any better, you'd say this bandit group was. Uh, brought together pretty recently. Ah, you okay. you do not know any of them, That's not even dudes. the Lusadon. <laughs> <All right>. Okay, <laughs> they're not like on any national watch lists or anything. Okay. Nope, <laughs> nope, not yet. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, okay. For, so for most of us, do we know that we're in the other side of the continent? Uh yes. All right. I was just going to basically knelt down, going to put like a simple hand over his mouth, and then he's going to do a few hand movements. And he's going to basically cast a magic message to basically go straight over to Agatha, and Agatha's going to hear like a whisper saying, Ms. Agatha, you're alright? Uh, yep, all good. All right. Uh, you guys? Is everybody together? All right, I, I assume I can think back, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can basically talk back, basically. Okay. Like, like and it's just spelled one of those. It's like a phone, basically. Yeah. It's it's like a magic phone. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, it says that you have to say within twenty-five words, or uh, oh, I'm yeah, going to count. say the word limit is uh, uh, pretty much non-existent. Yeah, there's no word limit. Okay. Anymore, actually, so you okay. Can say oh, as neat. Much as you like. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, it's a cantrip, so you can just. Just oh. as as you like. All right. Oh, yeah. but do we just see like yeah. Agatha just talking to herself? It's like oh, I think she's just I think she's still a little uh, I think she's still a little sleepy. Do you want some yeah, lunch? I think she would say it out loud even if she didn't have to. Kind of like people would yell at her. <laughs> I need was crazy. <laughs> this, sh 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 I, I, I'm getting a message from the where? I, I don't know. It's magic. <laughs> what? Um, Agatha, are you right? <laughs> Did you hit your head? He's uh, on. Protoss is good boy. Do you need an orange? <laughs> that that's okay, newbie. Thanks. Uh, uh, I'm good. Scar's <laughs> just gonna be ignorant of Agatha. What's just happening over there? And he's just gonna reply. Currently, I'm uh, with the other two, known as Rosen and Olin, at the moment. Uh, do you have mm -hmm. everyone else with you? Paula, Protoss, and Nubi are here. Um, wasn't there another one? I believe we're missing Rorik. Damn. Okay. However, we- Who are you talking to? <laughs> the, the, the guy, the, uh, wizard Thanks, guy. That really helps. <laughs> what are you talking, wizard? This is all pretty new to me. <laughs> We just met! Like, give me a sec. Do I just see them arguing over in the distance? Yep. <laughs> uh, is there a problem? Is there something that I do not care for? It's just Paula, don't worry about it. Oh, right. What are you saying about me? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Right. We can tell which group gets along better than the other. Just to clear everything up, just tell them I'm replying to you with magic, basically. Who's a good little otter? <laughs> yeah, you are. Also, yes, we're you are. some otters. I uh, don't know why, but we found Otters? Some. Yes. Otters? <laughs> What's an otter? <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Right now, this No, 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 you have my attention. You, Agatha, what's going on? <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm trying to find out. Brother says, right, What's an otter? 
look, right now it's <laughs> the most cutest thing you'll ever see in your entire life. <laughs> look, right now it's not important. Right now, those bandits are about to basically go attack on the town, and if we don't stop them right now, they're going to cause a lot of damage. Right. Agreed. I, I suggest we do a pincer attack. Agreed. What? We fight on one side, the other will basically fight on the other side. We'll basically close in and take down the elephant fella over there. Got it. What? Oh, Fred. Works for me. Wait, got a what? Scarro, does this mean I, can, I get to use the Zax? <laughs> he basically looks back. Uh, it depends. You know how to use it properly? I have learned a thing or two about axes, so yeah, I could definitely say. No, he can't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what the hell? Because okay. I can see those bandits over there. They look like they're going to go look at hurt yourself, man. I swear, yeah, I just okay. imagine. <laughs> I just imagine Robin just, just slowly taking the axe away from Olin. <laughs> <laughs> but not Olin's allowed. Just like no, stop it. No, I I found this. No. Look, this is okay. Look, this is the last thing to hurt the <laughs> Okay, I I just gonna. Try to fill the others in, like, all right, okay, the rest of the party's there, except for Rorik. Don't know where Rorik is, but we gotta do something about these bandits. Um, like? they seem to not be organized. I mean, these were That's guys that just formed their bandit, but he looks over and seems for Lexadon. Looks like that guy's the leader. If we take him Makes out, sense. they all scatter. Right, right, that was what the wizard was saying, that we should go for the elephant. The yeah. wizard. All right. Well, let's process out his <laughs> javelin. The wizard. Okay. The wizard. I'm gonna call Time him that. Okay. Everyone, why they call me the ballista? Okay, and um. Wait, who uh, calls you a ballista? Okay, uh, uh, the soldiers that work with me. Uh, uh, everyone, roll perception real quick. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, are we in uh, drug sunlight? We uh, know I don't do very good on this roll. No, you you <laughs> are not in direct sunlight. No. Natural okay. Um, is that with a flat roll or a bandit's roll? Uh, just just a flat roll. Oh, All right. Ouch. Oof. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, come on! All in a Thank you, Olin, for reminding me my rolls can always be worse. <laughs> Olin and Rolfin, you two are just arguing over the axe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it did, no, no, it did took. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I rolled seven. I got a seven. Olin, you don't know how to Bardos, use this. You, thing. Are, you, you hey, have it. I, hey, I learned how to use the Zax. No, Bardos, no, you, you did not do. One training course from a two year old. <laughs> but it was useful information, Rothen. I found I the Zax. I, um, I know how to use it. I can just say, okay. Protoss is trying to figure out what an otter is. Yeah, <laughs> Protoss is. And Protoss is still figuring out what's an otter. And uh, the rest of you, um, you're like being watched. What? <laughs> you're being watched. Wait. Uh oh. By uh -oh. the bandits. Oh, oh great. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. So sneaky didn't like really that. work. Like the whole arguing is just, they're just, and we just stopped what they're doing, just. Looked at us. Scar is just gonna slowly turn his head. Uh, and the it's like I'm not mad, just very disappointed. <laughs> okay. He's the it's one like, trying to use guys, a weapon that he can't. As you guys were arguing, uh, they they really are be like, "What the hell is going on?" And they just uh, look uh, at the two separate arguing parties that are just like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then they're like trying to snag away the axes, like mine, mine. <laughs> in oh, fact, no. in fact, mine, in fact, a few no. of the goblins, uh, a few, a few of the goblins in the group, they're actually placing bets on who gets the axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the idiot is going to get it. which one? There are two idiots. Hey, <laughs> hey. Valid. That was the goblin, not okay. me. Uh, Roland, okay. Uh, at this point, roll initiative. 